introduction first let us write the side heading the set of natural numbers the set of positive integers is said to be the set of natural number what are the positive integers 1 2 3 4 so on minus 1 is not a positive because it is a negative zero is both the zero is neutral it is positive as well as negative now the set of the set of positive integers is denoted by is denoted by like this that is the set of all positive integers is nothing but the set of natural number which contain what are the positive integers 1 2 3 4 so on the so on is indicated by the three dots there are some properties of the natural number we can say the first property the set of all natural number contains one the set of all natural number contains one now the second property i can say that whenever any number belongs to set n then its next number that is successor is again containing n means whenever one is there its successor two is also there whenever two is there its next number that is three is also there whenever three is there its next number four is there so on what is the successor two is the successor of one because two is the next number if whenever n belongs to capital n then n plus 1 belong n that is its successor that is n plus 1 belongs to n if 5 belongs to n then 5 plus 1 that is 6 is the successor of 5 which belongs to n this is the second property now the third property one is one this number one is not a successor of any element one is not a successor of any element that is the third property now fourth property if i say if i take two numbers one is let us take one is n and another one is m and both have the same successor means n plus 1 and uh, n plus 1 is the successor of n m plus 1 is the successor of m n and m are the two numbers in a capital n set that is set of all natural number both have the same successor when it is possible it is possible only if n and m both are same for example if i take 2 and 4 and i say that both the numbers have the same successor what is the successor of 2 that is 3 what is the successor of 4 that is 5 if i say that 3 and 5 both are same it is not possible why 2 and 4 are not same two numbers will have the same successor if and only if those two numbers will be same those two numbers will be same now the fifth property if i take any subset if i take any subset of set of all natural number which is containing one which is containing one and whenever n belongs to a subset if its successor is also belongs to a same set then that subset is nothing but set of all natural number how i can say this one a subset of a set of all natural number which is containing one and whenever a number belongs to a set that is n its successor also belongs to a set then that subset is nothing but set of all natural number how i can say when i am saying one belongs to a set and also saying that whenever n belongs to 
a set its successor also belongs to the same set then one belongs to a set its successor that is two belongs to the same set if two says two belongs to a set its successor three belongs to a set then four belongs to a set five therefore all the positive integers belong to its subset therefore that subset is nothing but set of all natural number these are the five properties of the set of all natural number five properties of the set of all natural number therefore those five properties from 1 to 5 all those five properties are said to be piano axioms or piano postulates piano axioms or piano postulates properties we can say properties of natural number let us write down the properties of natural number we will indicate the property as n1 n2 so on first one n1 one is always belongs to set of all natural number one is always belong to set of all natural number that is the first property second property Yeah. Why I am taking n one and n two because I am dealing the properties of natural numbers. Now, whenever n belongs to a set of all natural number, its successor. then its successor n plus 1 also belongs to set of all natural number whenever n belongs to capital n its successor that is n plus 1 also belongs to you directly you can say one belongs to its successor that is 2 belongs to yeah Since two belongs to n, three also belongs to n. Four or its successor four. Hundred belongs to n. Its successor that is one zero one also belongs to n. That one directly we can say from the second property. That is, you can say that is if n belongs to set of all natural number. n belongs to set of all natural number then its successor n plus 1 also belongs to set of all natural number if this element belongs to n then its successor also belongs to 1 that is third one 1 is not a successor of any element one is not a successor of any element in set of all natural number that is the third property now fourth property if whenever m and n have the same successor then m is equal to in the set of all natural number if two numbers have the same successor then those two numbers will be always same for example a subset of n or just a subset of natural number n contains One contains one 
and whenever n belongs to n its successor n plus 1 belongs to n then the subset let us take as yes the subset yes is equal to yeah. how i can say this one let us take any subset of natural number which is containing A subset yes of n contains one, and whenever n belongs to n, its successor n plus one belongs to n. Then the subset yes is nothing but such of all natural number. How I can say when I am saying that one is there in a set, and second one, whenever an element belongs to a set and its successor also belongs to a same set, then when I am saying one belongs to a set. And from this condition, its successor that is two belongs to a set. If two belongs to a set, then its successor again three belongs to a set. Then we say that the subset is nothing but set of all natural numbers. A subset yes of n. A subset yes of n, which contains one and and contains n contains n plus one whenever. It contains n. Whenever it contains n, then yes must equal to n. Yeah. N yeah. must equal to n. A subset yes of n which contains one. A subset of n which is containing one and Containing n plus one, whenever it contains, whenever it contains n, means one is containing, then one plus one that is two is also containing n. Yes, two is containing, then two plus one that is three is containing n. Yes. So on, then the set is nothing but containing one, two, three, four, so on. Therefore, the set s yes, must be equal to the set of all natural number. Note. Properties Properties N one through N five through N five. Are known as piano axioms or piano postulates. These five properties from n one to n five are known as piano axioms or piano. postulates p1 comma p2 comma p3 comma so on be some st statements or proposition that may or may not be a true let p1 comma p2 comma p3 comma so on be a list of statements 
और प्रपोजिशन विच मे और मे नॉट बी ट्रू लेट पी वन कामा पी टू कामा सो ऑन बी अ लिस्ट ऑफ सम स्टेटमेंट और प्रपोजिशन विच मे बी ट्रू और मे नॉट बी ट्रू देन आई एम गोइंग टू यूज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मैथमेटिकल प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन देन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन एसर्ट दैट द स्टेटमेंट ऑल द स्टेटमेंट आर ट्रू provided if first statement is true and the second one n plus 1th statement is true whenever its previous statement that is p nth statement is true that is the principle of mathematical induction asserts that statements asserts that all the statements P1 comma P2 comma so on are true provided provided first one first one P1 is true second one P n plus one is true. whenever pn is true this is the principle of mathematical induction what i did i considered some statement some list of statements of propositions which may be true may not be true now to prove what are the statement is to prove what are the statement is we can use the principle of mathematical mathematical induction principle of mathematical induction says that what are the statements i am saying is true provided provided means if it satisfy the following conditions that is if p1 is true the first statement is true and pn plus 1 is true whenever pn is true this is the principle of mathematical induction let us solve one problem on principle of mathematical induction problem prove 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on plus n is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 for all positive integer yeah this one i am going to you prove by using the principle of mathematical induction what we have to prove sum of first n natural numbers is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 this is the statement now i have to prove that this statement is true for All the positive integers means this statement is true for n is equal to one also two three five. If I take n is equal to hundred also, this statement is true. I have to prove that this statement, whatever I am saying, this one is equal to this one is true for all the. This is the statement. I have to prove that this statement is true for all the positive integers. Solution. Let the 
nth proposition b pn that is pn 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on plus n is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. Now to use the principle of mathematical induction, I have to prove the first condition that is P1 is true. If n is equal to 1, then then LHS and LHS is what is the LHS? This is the LHS of P1. If n is equal to 1, then this sum becomes only 1. This one I can write as 1 into 2 by 2. Again 2 to get cancelled you will get. This one can be written as 1 into 1 plus 1 by 2. Which is nothing but RHS. It is equal to RHS. Which is equal to RHS. Thus P1 is true. Thus P1 is true. Now the second condition of the principle of mathematical induction says that p n plus 1 is true whenever p n is true. So let us consider p n is true. Then I have to prove that p n plus 1th proposition is true. Suppose p n is true. That is p n 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on till n is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 is true. Now I have to prove that its next term that is pn plus 1th proposition is also true. Now I am going to add n plus 1 on both sides. Since this is true, adding n plus 1 on both sides that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on plus n plus n plus 1 is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 plus n plus 1 now What I can take common n plus 1 common. So what you will get? n by 2 plus 1. Now taking LCM n plus 1 into n plus 2 by 2. This one can be written as n plus 1 into n plus 1 plus 1 by 2. Therefore, what is this one? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on till n plus 1 is nothing but n plus 1 into n plus 1 plus 1 by 2 which is nothing but pn plus 1. So directly I can say that pn plus 1's proposition is true whenever pn is true. Thus, pn plus 1 holds if pn is true therefore by the principle of mathematical induction pn 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on plus n is equal to n into n plus 1 pi 2 is true is true 
for all positive integers. This is the process of principle of mathematical induction. This is, in this way, we can use the principle of mathematical induction.